Good morning. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Come on into my living room. This is gorgeous. Thank you so Love much. It. I lit Amazing. some candles for you. Full of daylight. Oh, thank you. You're so romantic. <laughs> So tell me about your day. A regular day off, I'll wake up, I'll have a shower while the kettle's on. It takes a while. Uh, then I'll shave, come out, make a coffee. And then I'll go to my favorite cafe. Which one is it? Cafe Integral. And I'll get a golden milk. What is it, golden milk? Golden milk, they make it with coconut milk that they make in the store, all homemade. And they put turmeric inside with date powder. After golden milk, I go to Gotham the gym. I'll do some boxing, maybe some weightlifting. What are your favorite lunch spots? There's a few, but for sure, my number one is Nam Son. Nam Son's a Vietnamese place. It's on Grand and Christie, and I get the number four with no tendon and no tripe. All the guys know my, my order. I sit down, and it comes. OK, so what is number four? Number four is rare beef and eye round. And usually, there's tripe and tendon inside. But I don't always love it, so I just remove it. How were you scouted? When was it? How old were you? How did it happen? It always just fascinates me. I was 18 years old and I was with a buddy and we were taking two Welsh girls around Toronto. And we were in uh, an area called Dundas Square. Okay. And I got scouted and this guy just came up and said, excuse me, are you a model? And I was thinking in my head, no. Why would you even ask? He goes, well, if you're interested, here's my card. And so I took this guy's card and at the time I just done my first week of college, I was studying marketing, and I thought nothing of it. And I followed up, continued keeping in contact for about two years, and once I was done college uh, with business administration's marketing diploma, uh, I started traveling. By the way, what were you doing, like, by the time you were scouted? Like, were you just working somewhere besides... I used to work, uh, I was in the union 675. Mm -hmm. It's like a carpenter's union, but it's drywall, so we would do great big industrial buildings, so we'd do hospitals, uh, shopping centers, and I was the garbage boss. Who are you working with at the moment? What is your agency? Here in New York, I'm with Heroes. Okay, how about the ones in Europe? Europe, in London, I'm with Premier. Mm -hmm. In Paris, I'm with Success. Mm -hmm. And in Milan, I'm with D Management. Okay, that's good. So you're, you're an international supermodel, can we say that? No. <laughs> just, just male model. But wait, you were you were on the hot list on models.com. How about yeah. that? When was it? That was in 2017, I think. Okay. Yeah. How did it feel? Normal. <laughs> it was just a little extra, a little extra sprinkle on top. That's yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, any more girls just hitting on you because you're one of the hottest? Models? I don't think no. <laughs> So I love, love your jacket. What is it? What are you wearing? Thank you. It is a 2015 Givenchy. You're based in New York, right? Yeah. So why is that? I think after being away and so far from home and so far from family, I wanted to come here because it's very familiar. It's the same culture as Toronto. I'm so close to my parents and the rest of my family. It's an easy hour flight. Go home real quick, come back. Um, it's a little more relatable here too. I love London, I love Paris, Milan is nice too, but here, here feels like home, it's just familiar. And it's the fashion capital for sure. Yeah. For if sure. anything's gonna happen anywhere, it's here. Yeah, that's true. How many covers do you have? Do you have any idea? Do you have the number in mind? I think I have five. Five covers? Five covers. Which one is the biggest? Definitely Numero. Oh, Numero yeah. magazine with Kat McNeil. Yeah, I remember that. It's beautiful. February 2017. Yeah. So Ryan, do you consider yourself as a New Yorker now? Um, I would say most people consider themselves New Yorkers after 10 years. 
I've been here nearly five, but I would consider myself a New Yorker. What? I think with, with modeling and the castings, you get to go around the city, yeah. see all different neighborhoods. That's right. I have a lot of free time, and with the free time, I love exploring the city. Yeah. I know so many people here. I know so many different neighborhoods, restaurants, bars, cafes. I would say, yeah, I'd consider myself a New Yorker. What is your favorite neighborhood? Definitely, hands down, Chinatown Lower East Side. <laughs> is this because you it's, live there? It's because I live there. <laughs> yeah. It's my neighborhood. Okay, I think cool. there, there's like, there's, there's not as much business there. Uh, people are more community oriented and uh, it's the best, it's my favorite. Would you please define your New York in only one sentence. Oh. What is New York to you? New York is chaotic freedom. Two words, chaotic freedom. 